Hey, so I'm at home in Cincinnati and I was challenged to do something inspired by one of my past selves and uh, I think I found just the thing for that assignment. This pile of papers is a novel that I wrote for NaNoWriMo, National Novel Writing Month, uh, in June of 2010, so like nine years ago. It wasn't even during the real NaNoWriMo, it was just during my summer break. I wanted to try to write a novel in a month, and I did, and it's not very good. Um, not a lot of the characters are very relatable or very three-dimensional. I think the only one that comes close is the main character, who's loosely based on me. Um, which goes to show you that in order to be a good writer, you kind of have to live as a human for a few years and, uh, and have relationships with people, um, which I was not very experienced in at the time. But I don't want to edit this book because it's a good expression of who I was as a 15-year-old and what I was thinking about. There's a lot in here about high school. It's sort of semi-autobiographical, but with um, kind of magical realism mixed in. Um, I was thinking a lot about Alice in Wonderland, and there's a scene where the character dies and goes to hell and has to take a standardized test to get out of hell and come back to life, um, which I guess is kind of like falling into the rabbit hole. Anyway, I thought I'd read you a passage about uh, the very early morning drive to school, which is something that I definitely struggled with as a high schooler. Um, and you just will get a snapshot of my writing as a 15-year-old. So, here we go. So, oh, one more thing. This character, uh, he, his parents are not around, which is not a knock on my real parents. I was just kind of curious about what it would be like. He lives with his grandparents, and his grandpa is driving him to school. My story, as any good one should, begins in the morning. In the early morning, I should say. Between 5 and 6 a.m., to be exact. Early in the morning, in the passenger seat of a Toyota Camry on the highway, similar to the opening of the Mary Tyler Moore show, except with different road signs. I, however, was not turning the world on with my smile, but was instead struggling to keep my eyes open through the drowsy vibrations of a long car ride. The inside of the car was filled with overdue library books, mostly college math texts taken out by my disorganized grandfather, who had an intense obsession with math even after he had stopped teaching it. He was just sitting next to me, keeping a tight focus on the road. He was never one to break the speed limit and was refreshingly respectful of other cars attempting to pass him. This is really funny because now I'm like a terribly fast driver on the highway and I try to pass people. And uh, But back then I was, I was very careful and I did not like to pass people at all. Anyway, um, uh, his intense focus kept him from making conversation except for the occasional, did you remember your pencil or you got your summer reading, right? Although we both kept our work areas in extreme disarray, we never ceased to be OCD about remembering things. Two OCD individuals increases the amount of checking backpacks exponentially, especially when there was no chance of going back to get things from 70 miles away. Outside, the sun looked like an orange ball bouncing up to light the purple sky. The colors at sunrise I had learned before were nothing more than particulate matter in the atmosphere. Still, they looked pretty as they looked sorry still they looked pretty as they looked stunning as they lit up you can see this is unedited parting the mist of dawn and revealing the urban sprawl that cracked against the borders of the two cities like a war front plunging rural areas into the dystopia of the suburbs so it's the first day of school said my grandfather making conversation at last yep i replied modestly still drowsy but happy i had someone to talk to you excited? he said, with a slight smile appearing on his face. I guess, I said, my unsureness becoming obvious. In truth, I had been promised a challenging curriculum at this new school and nothing else. My knowledge of the possible friends situation or extracurricular opportunities was as dark and cloudy as the fog of war on a video game. It would have been far easier, I had thought, if I had signed up for a group of friends to eat lunch with, along with my request to be in the orchestra. But, as most of my half-asleep logic, the idea was quickly thrown out the window and burned up by the orange ball sun. 
dissolving into the purple and pink clouded sky. So that's what I wrote like as a 15-year-old. 